Corey. All right, looks like Corey had moved on from Carmen and got himself a new boo. Now, Corey was on live, and I guess he was talking about her on his live that she pretty got pissed off on Corey and decided to be a little physical with him on his live and even shut down his live. So, guys, here's the video, and let's take a look. Come on, make you lose your mind. Straight up. Last girl. It's many levels to my life. Why are we done? Keep saying stupid shit. You gonna punch me in my mouth? Why? This is my pretty. I don't want to bore you, dude. Like, I don't like seeing women bored. Like, especially if a guy brings women around. Like, the girl could be anyone living her best life. You niggas just brought these girls around. Like, these girls tell me that they bored. Now you know what I'm saying? Girl, yes, he entertained them dumb. Damn. <laughs> and now he's off the fucking live. Goodbye, y'all. All right, guys, so there you have it. I guess Corey thought that Carmen was the particular one that likes to start drama and all this kind of stuff. But Corey News girl looks like she's in there's a lot of trouble. So Corey better pay attention with her because she ain't taking no crap from Corey if this is his girlfriend. But anyway, talking about Carmen, Carmen had went to her Snapchat and she knows that Corey's out there with a new boo that she decided to throw a little shade to Corey's new girlfriend. So here's the video and let's take a look. <laughs> Guys, so there you have it. Carmen's not here to play with Corey and do a little shot to Corey's new boo. But Corey did took to his IG story, and I guess people was complaining that Corey needs to get back with Carmen. And he decided to go to his IG story, put up a little post on his IG, stating, "I'm not a perfect man, but I am a man you yeah, truly love to have. No bragging. Every female that has come around me and get to know me can vouch." Yeah, check this out. Before I left completely, I went back to repair what was broken, and it didn't want to be repaired. I was patient due to being aware of my bad choices over the years. I changed as a man and become better. Imagine someone come and stay with you for a month and play this role like they want to repair things the whole time they lost and just want to be in the street. I finally let go and can't go back. Let me enjoy the life the same way you all press others to enjoy theirs. I'm a Gemini. And once we're done, we're done. I'm single and I'm going to stay single for a while. I got some living to make up. I love y'all and love the support, but I'm kind of tired of hearing and seeing the name. I only speak on it because y'all ain't fun to play with me 100. But I am ready to completely forget about that side, side honest. Guys, so leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about the situation that Corey got going on and how he is tired of people keep mentioning Carmen in his comments. And now we're going to go and jump into this next scene. And apparently CJ So Cool is back making videos, but he's back at it again, I guess. Um, I don't know if y'all remember the situation that went down with Lexi and Deja that Lexi had, I guess, yanked Deja's arm when she was being, um, I guess, not behaving. And people had a little rage about the whole situation, including me, because I would be damned if another female that is not my child, mom comes and grab my kids by the arm the way that she did. Now, CJ did state it in his video of this one that he would let Lexi discipline the kids if she has to. So here's the video and let's take if you actually loved your kids, you would drag Lexi the same way she dragged me. What in the hey? Wait a minute. When did Lexi drag me? That's Cap. Stop the violence. Stop the Cap. Stop the lion. Stop all of that. Okay? What, what you are talking about, I remember specifically, is a video at the old house. When Dea was actually, she was doing what she always did. She would just have one of those moments where she thought she was in control and she could just say what she wanted and be as disrespectful as possible. Lexi, I was recording. I remember I was vlogging myself. I wasn't even paying attention because honestly, I can't pay attention to everything at the same time. I can't be focused on the dog, focused on the pot that's cooking the food, focused on the vlog that I'm doing, and focused on Lexi who's talking and focused on my kid. So I can't do all that. I know y'all think I'm a robot, AI, something like that, but I'm really not. So at that specific moment, I wasn't really focused on what was going on. But I do remember Dale was being bad. But sometimes when she being bad, I let her be bad because she's just a kid. And technically, it's not even about being bad. It's just her being her. Anyway, Lexi took a hold of her hand and walked her to the room. She didn't track my door, first of all. She's not like that. And Dale loves Lexi, whether you believe it or not. And honestly speaking, 
Lexi has never laid a hand on my kids in the way that, you know, some of your parents be whooping on y'all. But even if she did, she's my kid's stepmom. So if, if it was a time where I felt like, or Lexi felt like discipline needed to be laid down, I would intervene if it was, you know, a little bit over the top. But it wasn't. It wasn't anything. But y'all keep nitpicking at it. Y'all keep trying to bring it up and trying to bring me down and bring her down and trying to tarnish our names based off of a one second clip you saw on YouTube, given the fact that the other side was hyping it up as it was so bad. It wasn't even like that. So please, let's stop. Because back in the day, they said it takes a village to raise a kid. Boy, I was getting beat by anybody. My gym teacher, my English teacher, my quiet teacher. Like everybody got to lay hands on kids back in the day. Now, if your girlfriend of a couple of years grabs your daughter's head and walks her to time out, she mad, she need to go to jail. Like, what's wrong with y'all, man? We as humans need to stop. All we do on a daily basis is try to drag each other down as if what we going through is the best. Like, none of us are perfect at the end of the day. Even Kim Kardashian, man, I watched her get booed at the freaking uh, Tom Brady roast off, and I was like, wow, a billionaire who has helped people get out of jail, who has done bad things in her life, who has gotten money from doing sexual things, but still doesn't deserve to get that, you know, that type of energy. Who boos? Like, Lacey was telling her, like, imagine fixing your lips to say, boo, you saw it. Like, what? What kind of human does that? I'll tell you, the kind of human that gets on the phone and types negative comments. Those are the type of humans that fool people at events. I mean, it's just crazy, but, you know, I'm not one of those people, so... All right, guys, so there you have it. You heard him out of his mouth that CJ did stated that he would let Lexi discipline the twins, which I found that kind of crazy because you're the father. You're the one that's supposed to be taking care of the kids and disciplining the kid. It's okay that she helps you take care of them, but putting hands on the child that's not yours, no, that's on call for. And we already seen the video. We already seen how she dragged her, and he always want to stick up for her. But for me personally, I would have a definitely problem if another woman decided to step in and trying to discipline the child instead of talking to the father or the mother about how that child was acting so the mother or the father can discipline themselves. Ain't no way in hell I would let another female put their hands on my child. But I don't understand what's the other purpose of him bringing up Kim Kardashian of the situation of a child. But we already know how CJ is. CJ will stir up the pot with the drama until he continues to keep doing what he's doing so worried to get me spawn back but anyway guys leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this situation and i'll see y'all next time with a brand new video